hi everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video i'm going through a lot of old wives tales to predict the gender of my baby i'm currently 13 weeks pregnant almost 14 and uh, we will find out the gender with 16 weeks so i thought i filmed this video now so we can speculate together and when this video will be up um, we already know the gender so that's probably the next video you will see um, it will be the gender reveal also let me know in the comments down below what you think we are having if we are having a boy or a girl yeah let me know in the comments down below and i just want to mention that obviously it doesn't matter if it's a boy or a girl all that matters is that it's a healthy baby and uh, we're just really excited and this video is just for fun um, so yeah let's get started but first if you are new here on my channel welcome i'm a dutch girl and i'm living in marmaris turkey and i make a lot of mommy videos at the moment um, a lot of vlogs lifestyle fashion so if you like that make sure you subscribe and now let's get started okay so i found a whole list there are 36 old wives tales but let's get started with the chinese calendar and the mayan calendar maya mayan so my sister-in-law she swears by the chinese uh, calendar she told me that it came true with all of her friends and her said that she would get a baby girl and she's currently pregnant with a baby girl so we'll see so with the chinese calendar you need your lunar age i believe so a lot of women do this wrong because you have those little like cheat sheets you can find on google uh, with the age and month but you need your lunar age so that's why a lot of the times it's incorrect so i have here um, which i will also think link down below a website that uh, calculates your lunar age and also the date of conception so you just need to fill in i will show you quickly so you need to fill in your birthday and then the month of conception and then the website will cal calculate it for you so i just fill in my birthday let's see and the date of conception which was in January, so let me see. So I am 27 years old and I conceived in uh, January 2022. So, and then we are going to click on predict baby gender. And it says that it's a baby girl. So I'm really excited to find out if this is correct. Like I already said, my sister-in-law swears by this. So we will have a look or maybe it's completely wrong so really curious about that then we are going to the maya calendar so with the maya calendar you need to look at your age if this is an even or an odd number and then the month of conception if this is a even or a odd number so i will just show you quickly how that looks so this is how it looks Okay, so age of conception, like I already mentioned, I am 27, so that's a odd number. And then the month of conception was January, which is also a odd number. So it says that it's a girl again, so two points for girl. So that is two points for girl, and now I'm going back to the old wife's tales. So the first thing is if you are carrying high or low, so I will insert a photo that I just took. And I guess I carry quite low. Um, I'm not really sure because the bump is very, very small. But if I have to guess, I would say um, low. So a low bump says baby boy. So that's the first point for boy. Then the next one is if I have headaches. So no, I don't have any headaches. And here's writing, if you keep getting headaches, it's a boy. Um, if you don't have any headaches, it's a girl. So again, one point for girl. Then it's a girl if your boobs have suddenly taken a huge proportions. So everyone's looking at my boobs right now. <laughs> um, I would say they're a little bit bigger, but not huge. Like I still fit all of my bras and everything. So that's a point for boy. Then it's a boy if... You aren't sleeping very much. No, I'm sleeping fine. I just have to pee a lot. <laughs> and I have a lot of intense dreams. 
but I'm sleeping fine so that's again a point for girl and I'm just keeping the score on here but I will also insert a little boy girl right here so it's a girl if the baby's dad hasn't put on weight so if he hasn't gained weight if he gained weight then it's a boy if I understand correctly um no I think he's the same so that means a girl okay the next one is it's a boy if you're looking radiant and fabulous well i have a lot of makeup on my skin right now and i'm definitely not radiant or glowing i don't know if you can tell i think you can see it through my makeup but i've got a lot of acne also on my neck here which i usually never have in my neck um my skin is also very dry and think so so no i don't think i look radiant um so that means it's a girl whoa girls getting a lot of points right now so let's see it's a girl if your face changes your face changes hmm i don't think my face has changed i don't know what do you think no i don't think so three points for a boy so yeah girl is a hat it's a boy if you pick up a mock by its handle yeah i always do that i guess so it's a boy <laughs> i'm also very thirsty since i'm pregnant like i want to drink water all the time it's a girl if the hair on your legs is growing normally um yes i would say so it's the same i guess so that's a girl it's a boy if in case you thought these were going on a little mainstream the old wife still claims that if your nose widens you're in for a baby boy at the end of your nine months <laughs> i never heard of this one but i'm looking in the mirror and i guess it's again the same like i don't know i don't feel that my face has changed so um i don't think so so then it's again a girl it's a girl if you can eat bread but hate eating the end bit of the loaf of the bread i always hate this i don't know if i'm the only one but i never like the end loaf of the bread so it says that it's a girl but i don't know i always have this so okay it's a girl it's a boy if your mom's hair color is naturally gray we assume they mean your mother's hair has turned gray in later life not that she was born with gray hair but we wouldn't rule anything out so yes my mom's hair is gray she was gray when she was like 25 or it turned gray so that means that it's a boy okay so again one point for boy so it's a girl if you have mood swings so i don't really feel that i have a lot of mood swings i guess i'm very relaxed um obviously sometimes i'm a bit emotional but no i think i don't have a lot of mood swings so then it's a boy it's a girl if you haven't suffered from morning sickness so i hear a lot of things about this no i definitely had morning sickness um not very like morning sickness more evening sickness um i definitely had that a lot of nausea um they say that it's a girl if you haven't suffered from morning sickness other people say that it's a girl if you have morning sickness so um but yeah i had morning sickness this one says that it's a boy then so a point for boy some of them are the same so i just go through them um, a bit quicker okay so it's a girl if well in bed you sleep with your pillow facing south so let me see yeah that that's correct okay so that's a point for girl 10 points now and seven for boy so we'll see it's a girl if your hair gets reddish highlights to it i don't think so it's just blonde it's the same um so that means it's a boy it's a girl if your face has become rounder and you have a rosy cheek again no i think it's the same i don't know let me know if you think it is but i think it's the same so that means a boy it's a boy if your feet are always cold so yes my feet are always cold um i always have this also before i was pregnant so one point for a boy so oh it's a tie okay um it's a girl if you can't stop eating sweet things wow this is 
so true i usually grab for salty snacks like i love crisps and nuts and all of that and i still eat nuts because it's healthy for the baby but if you ask me what i want to eat like i just want to eat chocolate and like fruit i i absolutely love strawberries or like fruity yogurts um yeah i i want all of the sweets so this is definitely something that has changed so let me see if you can stop eating sweet things it's a girl so another point for girl so these were all the wife tales. they had also some with pee and baking soda i'm not gonna do that i just don't want to show my pee here on camera so girl has just won by one point so it's a very close call um, again let me know in the comments down below what you think and i'm just so excited to find it out you know um, then i can go shopping and everything and um, yeah really excited just for this adventure um, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and i hope to see you guys very soon in one of my other videos bye